Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamo here. Today in this video we are going to take a look at Wygo Hobby Griffin 250 GF250 FPV racing drone kit version. Yes, I've got a kit version here. I believe they do have ARF and ready to fly versions, but as I wanted to put my personal touch to it, so I actually got the kit version of Griffin GF250 by Wygo Hobby. Now let's take a look at the kit itself. Let me open the box and give you a looky looky at the components. First thing I got is the Velcro, sticky Velcro. Then we have Racing Drone GF250 Griffin, uh, the user manual. All right, after that, what? A CC3D? This is actually a CC3D atom. Uh, it's been a while since I used it, but anyway, I still have got my skills to use CC3D. After that, we have a battery Velcro, then we have a double-sided tape. All right, we have the canopies. Now, having the canopies, from my personal experience, I have learned having canopies on racing drones, they will affect the flight performance. All right, after that, we have a GF250 three-blade propellers. They look like five inch three blade propellers there goes my hope to use six inch master air screw propellers i'll see how big the quadcopter is we will try to put the master air screw propellers or we will trim the master air screw propellers to five inch and then test them okay after that we have some cables and accessories and power distribution board then we have the uh, rubber dampers for vibration free camera mounting we have the motor mounts and the led led lights for motor mounts which will go under the motor mounts okay the battery connector the main battery connector then we have four 30 amp brushless heli ESCs. I heard they said these were fly color ESCs. Oh my god. Oh my god. God bless me. Anyway, after that we have a screws, right? And then finally I'm getting the parts, the carbon fiber frame parts, okay? They're right here. There aren't many actually. They are straight and look like very fragile parts however they are nice and tough we will see how many how many crashes and what kind of crashes this frame can take after that we have a gem fun five inch propellers i believe two blade i don't know why they gave gem fun propellers all right then we have metallic uh, tower posts these are little little tower posts and other items uh, other components that will go and hold your frame together all right then we have some more screws then we have then we have the arms for your motors for your multi-rotor okay look like to me are a three millimeter carbon fiber uh, arms nice and tough good enough for the toughness all right after that of course a little bit more coming out and then we are coming to the fpv set FPV set includes a 200 milliwatt video transmitter 5.8 GHz and uh, an FPV camera which is kind of a board camera all right okay so I'll just put it back in for now then of course you're looking at after that of course we are looking at four motors Okay, let me take just one motor out first and take a look at it, see what kind of motor it is. Okay, here it is. This is a fly color motor, okay? All right, so MT2204-2000, 300 kV fly color motor. And of course, as I mentioned, we have fly color ESCs as well. All right, this is what came inside the box. I have laid everything down on the table. Now, when you put all this together, you will end up with a 250 size quadcopter, which will probably be shaped like this. I said probably because I have to find time 
to actually build it. So basically, yes, let's remove the probably word out of this. It will look like this when you finish building your quadcopter. So now I will have to make sure to find time and build this quadcopter and then we will go for flight testing and see what kind of FPV racing and FPV proximity and freestyling performance we will get out of Weigo Hobby Griffin 250 and we will see if it is any good to beat Shuriken X1 from Holy Pro that I'm flying lately. Even if it beats the Ishin Wizard 220. So far Ishin Wizard 220 and Shuriken X1 are my personal favorite so we will see if Weigo Hobby's Griffin 250 is gonna beat the performance of these two personal favorite quadcopters or not. So stay tuned and allow me some time to build this quadcopter and then we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.